Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Power Family. Today we are making a Mobius strip inspired uh, holiday decorations. So we are making ornaments and we are also making a garland. So here's an example of the ornament that we are making. We also did a two color one. And then we're also making garlands. And we're also making garlands with little festive messages on them. So those are our finished products. So let's dig in a little bit. First, let's explore the Mobius strip. So I've got some paper here. All you need for this project is some strips of paper. They're about an inch thick and some tape. You may also use some glue stick if you want to do two colors, a marker if you want to put any messages on it. And if you want to do little ornaments, you'll want either another strip of construction paper. We used a pipe cleaner here, or you could use some string, just anything to hang your ornament. So first I'm going to do a quick gluing here of these two pieces together. And then we'll dig into our Mobius strip. I'm just gonna let that dry. So we're going to attach these like that. And I'm just gonna let those dry. And that's gonna go into our garland here. So first let's explore the Mobius strip. If you're not familiar with the Mobius strip, this is a really fascinating math um, shape experiment, really project that you can do with your kids. So we've got one piece of paper here. It very obviously has two sides. We've got one side, two sides, right? Very easy. And it's got two edges. Well, it's actually got four edges counting our ends, but we're going to be looping it in a minute. So we've got two edges there. If we were to tape it like this, we have a circle. We still have one side, two sides, and then we've got our two edges. But if we take it and do one twist, so all I'm doing is taking it, right? Holding both ends and doing a flip. That's all. And then if I tape that together, we now have a Mobius strip. And so the fascinating thing with a Mobius strip is that it only has one side. So if you trace your finger all the way along here, you never have to lift your finger. It's an infinite loop. It also only has one edge. So same thing, if you were to trace your finger along the edges, you would end up touching the edges all the way around without ever having to lift your finger. So we can demonstrate this using a pen or a marker. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to draw a line through the middle. Like this. Go on the inside. You'll notice we didn't have to switch sides at all. Come all the way up here. And there we go. So all the way around and it all connects. So that proves that we've got one side for the entire thing. Another really fascinating thing you can show your kids with the Mobius strip before you make your Christmas or holiday decorations is to take some scissors and now cut along that line. Now, if you ask your kids, what's gonna happen if you cut it in half, what are they gonna say? You're gonna end up with two pieces. So we can do a quick example. I have a piece here that I was demonstrating earlier showing how when we put our line on, our line didn't touch the inside of the circle. If I cut this in half now, and you can do this with your kids very easily, and they're gonna look at you like you are crazy, because of course, if you cut this in half, you're going to end up with two circles, right? The eye rolls are gonna be intense from your kids at this point. But now, if we do the same thing, all we did was a flip, right? We didn't do anything crazy with this. Let's do the same thing. Let's cut this one through the middle. 
And your kids at this point will be rolling their eyes and saying, yes, we're going to end up with two. But guess what happens? It's not, it's still one piece. So that's just another really fascinating, you know, demonstration of the Mobius strip and the infinite loop. So now what we're going to do is we're taking this really cool concept of our Mobius strip and we're going to use it to make some Christmas decorations. So again, we did our ornaments here. So with some, we took our two colors and we just take them, one flip, right? That's all you do and then tape it together and you've got your Mobius strip. Put a pipe cleaner on it or a string and you've got an ornament. You can also write a message on it and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We really like doing the messages. And you can do it either way and uh, make your ornaments for your Christmas tree and your Mobius strip ornaments. Now, another idea we had was to make Mobius strip garland. So here we've got two color. So we've got our red and our green and we're just looping them all together. And all you do is take your strips of paper once you've glued them together, put them through, do your flip. Oops and then tape that together. And then you've got another link on your Mobius strip and you can just keep it going and going and going until you've got it as big as you want. But another idea that we really enjoyed for the classroom was to actually make a Mobius strip that had messages on it. So in this activity, we actually will write things like, let it snow, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you're celebrating, you can write wonderful little messages on your Mobius strips. You could also get your kids to write their names on there so it becomes very personal. Or, you know, they could write their own special wishes for the new year. You'll want to keep it short when you do it. And then of course, the same thing, you want to flip. Now, if you were doing this one where you are writing your messages, there's a very specific way you want to do that. And I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, we're gonna start by making this one. So this is our little ornament that says, that says, let it snow. And if you follow it all the way around, I'm gonna try and show you here, even on the inside, right? My finger, you just keep on going. And it's a never ending loop. And you could just keep reading, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay, so that's what we're gonna make. And it's a Mobius strip. So we're going to start by writing our message. Okay, so I've written my message there. So now the important thing you want to do is you just want to flip so that your, oh, hold on, how should I explain this? So here's one that I did. So it's Merry Christmas. Okay, so that's the way it needs to be. So your M is gonna be on the same end, but it's gonna be flipped upside down. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to flip it. So my let it snow, I'm gonna write let it snow. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully that does. go. So let me turn it around so you can see it uh, right side up. Okay. So we got there and you flip. So my L's beginning of my sentence is on the same and it's just flipped like that. So now what we're going to do is take it, make a circle, take one side and just turn it. So we're just doing a single twist. And we're going to tape that together and you can trim it. So this one, I've got a little extra here. So I'm actually going to trim that. This is where those scissors come in handy because I want it to flow fairly easily. So there we go. And we're going to just do one twist. Okay, I'm just gonna show you so we have our circle, one twist, okay? And we're gonna just tape that together now. Go. 
cool. And I'll open on the inside. There we go. So now when you look at it, we've got let it snow. And then if you look, uh, oops, sorry, I'm moving this really badly today. There we go. It says on the inside, let it snow. And then it just keeps going until you're back on the outside again, where it says, let it snow. And if you watch my finger, never ever has to lift up. Just keeps on going. Or if you did this with a pen, you could use a pen and show all the way it goes around. So there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna do this one in red. And you can just tie that on there. Give it a few twists. Maybe make a little bow. And we have a really cute math inspired ornament for the kids to make for the holidays. There we go. And you can go and hang that on your tree. So we've made our fancy little ornament with a message on there that is an infinity message and goes forever. Now I'm gonna show you how we're doing our Mobius strip garland. Now you could do it with our um, words. So you can take more of these. Remember, you go flip, right? So your M is on the same end, both sides. Take them, single twist, and take them together. So you can do your garland like that. And I think this would be a really fun project to do with a class. And each child could do their own little festive message on their Mobius strip. And then you can link them all together to decorate your classroom or a school tree or however you're doing it for the holidays. And you could do this for any denomination. However you're celebrating, you could do something really festive with this um, that would just make your room look really special. You can also, of course, do this at home. I hope you enjoy this really simple project. Oh, and don't forget our ornament idea here that we did too. I hope you enjoy this really simple holiday project with your kids. If you want more fun STEM activities to do with your children or your students in the classroom, make sure you visit steampoweredfamily.com. We're always publishing new ideas and projects and activities that you can do at home or in the classroom. Have a wonderful day. Bye.